Well, I've been allowed to return to PA Live here on a regular basis because of the arrival of our next guest, meteorologist Mike Skirko, the brand new meteorologist on our morning news program. Mike, uh, nice to have you on the other side of the clock. For once. Oh, thank you, Dave. Good to be <laughs> here, uh, not just here at PA Live, but with Eyewitness News. And I mean that just not because I'm the new guy, but Pennsylvania truly is my home. I'm originally from Pittsburgh. I do have some family in this part of uh, the state, so it is uh, truly good to be home. So that's pretty awesome. You know, let's begin with your local connection. You do have have, I believe it's your grandparents, right, that are in Schuylkill County? Yes, yeah, my mother's side of the family uh, grew up in the small town of Barnesville, uh, which is in between Monoy City and Tamaqua, that area. So we frequently, you know, packed up the minivan. That was the uh, summer road trip when we were kids, and uh, they're still there to this day. My father's side of the family uh, also has uh, some distant cousins and relatives in the area. Too many to name. I could sit here all day and give a shout out to everybody, but uh, that would just be it would just take too long. <laughs> and Mike, as a fellow Penn State grad, I'm excited that uh, we have another Penn State meteorologist on board. So when it comes to credentials and uh, education, as you know, Penn State is really up there when it comes to meteorology. Penn State, absolutely. Uh, the meteorology department is fantastic. Uh, you really couldn't ask for a better program to uh, prepare undergraduate students and continue uh, in their careers. And you certainly learn a lot. And the nice thing is, well, I'll be forecasting in the backyard uh, where I essentially learned all the meteorology skills uh, that I need. You know, we, we learned as students uh, in central Pennsylvania how to forecast for central Pennsylvania, and all the undergraduates kind of take that across the country and apply those skills. And fortunately, it's, uh, you know, Penn State's not too far away from here, so it's definitely going to come in handy. Yeah, no doubt it lays down the foundation. And, uh, you know, we start as Penn Staters in the meteorology department forecasting for a lot of the radio stations and some other organizations that uh, cover our same viewing area. And uh, Mike, you know, you kind of did your tour of duty in the business, we say, uh, paying your dues. And, and you have done that at a number of stations around the country. Yeah, I started out in Ohio, small town Steubenville, Ohio, uh, out of college. And then I was back in Massachusetts for about six years, Springfield, Massachusetts, Western Massachusetts. And uh, now I'm uh, back here in my home state of Pennsylvania. So again, good to be back. Yeah, we're excited to have you. And uh, tell everybody what they can expect when they tune in to see you each and every weekday morning. Well, the key word there is morning. It's early, so you know I strive for quickness. Let's get the forecast. Let's get you on your way. What do you need to know today? And uh, you know, get you set for any uh, outdoor plans that you have this afternoon. Because when it's five in the morning, six in the morning, seven in the morning, people are trying to get out the door. So we'll just get right to the point and uh, strive for accuracy as well. So no nonsense, no sideshows. Right. A guy that's going to bring you a professional forecast that you need for you and your family to get you through the day and. Also, allow me to get some more sleep these days. Um, That's right. Yes. Meteorologist Mike Skirko, <laughs> we are very excited to have you as part of the Iowa Weather Team. Thanks so much for being here. Well, thank you, Dave. Pleasure to be here. All right, let's head over to Jeff.